The aftermath of a Russian missile attack in Mykolaiv. It's believed 200 soldiers were inside at the time the base was struck. Rescuers race to find survivors in the rubble, but are forced to seek safety when an air raid siren rings out. The constant threat of bombardment has forced people here underground. I can't tell you how scared we are. We all live in the cellar now. When the bombs hit the army base, everything shook. To the east, Russians are pushing deeper into the besieged city of Mariupol. Ukraine says 90% of the city has been damaged or destroyed by Russian bombardment. It's thought over a thousand people were sheltering inside this theater when it was destroyed by a Russian strike. Hundreds are still missing. The city has no heat, water, or power. The mayor said that fighting in the city center made rescue missions impossible. Those who were able to flee said the situation was desperate. We sat in the basement for 10 days without going outside even once. We didn't have water or electricity. Luckily, we could use our neighbor's bomb shelter. I could never imagine that a bomb would hit a house next to mine, that my district will be literally wiped out. The outskirts of the city were simply destroyed. And then I realized there were no safe places in the city anymore. In a potential escalation, Russia says it's used a hypersonic missile for the first time in combat in Ukraine. The missile, shown here in footage from the Defense Ministry, has a range of up to 2,000 kilometers and is difficult to intercept. Unfortunately, it may be the case, uh, but very important, yes, you are drawing attention that they, they, they fired these hypersonic uh, uh, missiles, which means that most likely they are testing, you know, this uh, kind of weapons and as well as other new weapon on the Ukrainian territory. So unfortunately, uh, this might be the case in further their operations. Ukraine's president has called for peace talks, but Russia's war machine shows no signs of stopping.